Thank you for tuning in to another episode of InRange. We've been talking on InRange about this what if lever gun project. What if lever guns were adopted by the US military instead of like the single shot trapdoor Springfield? We saw the 1860 Spencer fail terribly in the mud test, even though that actually was adopted by the military in a, to a small degree. The Henry really wasn't, although a lot of military guys bought them and used them and procured them on their own accord. So what we're curious about is in the field conditions, what happens with this early Winchester style action, especially with this open magazine tube, when it goes through one of InRange's mud tests? Wait, so, oh God, you're gonna put that in the mud? I'm gonna put that in the mud. This is an Uberti replica. Now, one of the things we can't do here is the original 1860 Henry was a rimfire gun. So we can't simulate that rimfire ignition system. We have center fire 45 Colt here. However, mechanically, we're talking about the same thing. One other thing we always wanna talk about with a Henry is when you're loading it, you don't wanna just let these rounds drop under their own force. That's a safety issue. They can detonate when they hit the primer. So I'm gonna load 10 rounds here. This can hold more than that, but we'll start with 10. We'll get those all in there. You can see that empty mag, that open exposed magazine tube really is a concern. And it was something that actually happened when the gun was developed. Um, Henry himself was told that they needed to fix this and the Kingsgate patent came out later which went into the 66 and he said that his gun was perfect and didn't need to be changed. He was wrong. Winchester modified it, put the Kingsgate in it, put a handguard on here, which is a good idea, and his gun became the popular one. We got 10 rounds here. Let me go ahead and fire two of them just to prove that the gun's working. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it with a spent round in the chamber, hammer down, and that's how we'll mud it, which means like you're running through the field, drop this in the goo. Let's see what happens. Oh, that poor thing. All right, this is soupy too. That's pretty bad already. Is it in the tube already? We'll go ahead and make sure we get that because people are gonna say if we didn't, we didn't do it right, right? Oh, that's... That's right in there. That's pretty thoroughly in the mag tube. The other thing that happened is the original 60 and 66 did not have any sort of cover on the ejection port. They added a, a dust cover into the 73, which was a good idea. So, well, let's see how much of a good idea that was because that's right in there. I think a dust cover is a good idea and what you just did is a bad idea. I agree. So let's go ahead and cycle it. All right. That worked. Wow. Okay, had one not go off. It cycled. Let me go ahead and just pull the hammer back and try that again. All I had to do was cock the hammer. A little bit of grit in the firing pin channel or something. Yep. Um. Wow. All right, that surprised me. Frankly, that with that whole ejection port being open the way it was, I don't know what to say about that. Should I load a couple more rounds and do it again? I think we should do it again and put more mud in the magazine tube. All right, so let's um, go ahead. In fact, before you do that, let's yeah. take a look. How much mud is actually in the tube there? Eh, it doesn't look like, well, some got in. Oh Except yeah. Some, yeah. And it's all over the gun's action for sure. Yeah, for sure. I really thought that that would. Uh, that turned out, you know what's interesting? Is that what happens in a Henry. The, it, the elevator pushed it out. The lifter is the ejector. And I think that it's not only pushing the cartridge out, it's actually pushing the mud out. That's kind of cool. That's really, it's, I did not expect that. Let me get a, a close up of that when we do it the second time. Okay. So open the action. Excuse me. Open the magazine. Ah, so much dirt. It was a little hard to get in there. I got to get down here where the ammunition is, guys. Okay, now I'm putting in sort of dirty ammunition because my hands are dirty. So that'll add some interest to that. Four. Five, six, now, as you recall, I said that the original was rimfire. We can't test that today. That might have had some play in the original. Maybe. I don't think that would have been that big of a an issue. Lower that down carefully. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is that the rimfire did have two firing pins. When they rimmed these original guns to make sure ignition was solid and positive, it wasn't just one rimfire firing pin, it was two, one on each side of the rim. So you'll actually see cartridges in the field that didn't go off or they would open the action, turn the cartridge and then try to fire it again and there'll be like four imprints on it. But that might have helped too. So now we've got this, so we just go ahead and mud it straight up. Yep. All right, let's do let's it. Let's do some in the action and some in the magazine tube. Second, we so far have actually, I would say that was a pass. That was a complete pass. I mean, I'm putting we it had, right in. We had one at double, you know, had to had to Cock the hammer. Twice. Okay, now I just, I'm dumping it straight in. Yeah, that's, okay. that, that should be sufficient to prove the point. And then right again, right in the action. I don't, that, I don't know that I need more than that. No, I don't think you do. All right, so I'm gonna run this. You All wanna right. get on that so you can see it ejecting? Ready? Yep. Uh-oh. Oh. All right. Our hubris has proved too much. Might be. Oh, you don't want to fire that if it's not in battery. No, of course not. 
That's another thing they added to the 73 was a safety that it would not fire out of battery. The Henry will fire out of battery. Oh man. All right, we are now in trouble. All right. Now we're there. Um, that is, no way I'm gonna close that. It is literally completely filled with mud. Uh, drop that into the sun. Let's see if we can get out. And go ahead and open the bolt up. Oh, geez. I can't even see the face of the cartridge. See, there it is. Let me go ahead and see if I can mortar that round out. And open it. Okay, the cartridge is now in the lifter. See it? Yep. I'm gonna try and close it again. Nope. Mortar it again. Uh, there we are in, we're out. There's no way to fix this at this point because here's an interesting thing about this action. Once the cartridge is in the lifter, I can't get it out to eject it by hand. Right. Because it has to be below the lifter for the lifter to act as an ejector when it extracts it. Since I can't chamber the round, I can't extract it and I can't lower the lifter because it's a round in the chamber. I'm actually gonna have to take a screwdriver, pull the side plates off and take this apart to get that out of there at this point. Ouch. Yep. So let me see if I could do one more thing. Get some mud out of here. Do you wanna hit it with some water? No, well, one sec. Let me try one thing real quick. So if I, if I mortar it again, just to get the round to fall into the lifter, like that. And then if I push the lifter down by hand, Nope. Yeah, let's try water. Let's try water. All, All right. right. Okay, here we go. People will notice I did walk in front of the gun. However, it was not loaded when I did that. This is not ready to go. All right, so. Ugh. Still nothing. Can't close it. It looks like. Go ahead and open it up a little bit. It looks like the ejector uh, recess in the breech face is packed full of mud, so the ejector won't go in, or the it's extractor won't go in. Trying to force it. Uh, nope. This is when the cameraman steps back. Yeah, let me do a little more water. <sighs> little handing where there. No, this is not gonna close. All right. This is gonna have to be manually disassembled and, and dealt with. So I'm gonna open it so it's in a safe condition. All right, well, surprisingly, the first dose of mud, the gun ran through without a problem. I was really surprised by that. I expected this to fail faster than that. What's also interesting about this is that the Spencer was adopted officially and this was not, but this actually did better in the first round of mud test. It did, yeah. So I think there was a lot to be said there for this Henry action, which turned into the Winchester action. I think the way the system works, as long as you don't keep dumping it into the mud, actually is pretty effective in pushing dirt and filth out of the action. That's a factor I had not even considered. The mud getting in here didn't seem to matter that much. Yeah. Which was a surprise. So maybe I... Henry was right that his gun was perfect, but I don't think that's true. No, I... Yeah, he and Borchardt can both be in the club of guys who weren't perfect even though they thought they were. Exactly. So, I mean, we know for a fact the 66 was a huge improvement, as was the 73 and the Winchester action continued to be an iconic American weapon. So, I'm going to say that in terms of the mud test, this was a semi-pass. The yeah. second douse was... I think I think what made the difference is we, we put substantially more mud into it on the second time through. Yeah, no, I think that's true. But I think that first test, the first pass hat was a pass. Yeah, that was remarkable. So, um, in terms of, of guns that have passed, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the Henry's a is a pass pretty it's, close it's a half yeah it's a halfway pretty good pretty good far more effective than i would have expected absolutely me too guys if you like this kind of stuff stay tuned we're going to do the 66 we're going to do a whole bunch of these lever guns to see if the 66 kingsgate patent makes a difference we'll do a 73 in the future and you already saw the spencer on the channel and this is all part of the lever gun project how suitable is this gun for the field and in terms of the mud test i would say this was more suitable for the field than the spencer interesting and unexpected. If you like this kind of stuff, please consider supporting us on Patreon. It's what allows us to dunk uh, an Uberti replica into the mud and put ammunition in it to fire it to test that out. If you can't support us on Patreon, please just watch us on one of our five distribution networks. You can find them all on inrange.tv. Subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.